What's good everybody? It's your boy J-Rock over here at J-Rock Fitness and I have another back and buys day for you. So let's get right into it. You're going to see me do a couple different things in this video. As you see right now, right off the bat, I'm starting to hit my arms in the beginning of my exercise instead of the end. Most of the time I do my back exercises and then I hit my buys, finish them off. But I decided to hit my buys. I've been doing this the past couple weeks. I hit my buys first, then I go into my uh, back exercises. I feel like this is going to take my arms completely out of my back exercises. That's why I'm doing it this way now. Because I feel like my arms have been coming into play a little bit too much. So I want to burn out my arms, then do my back exercises, okay? Anyways, I did drop sets, okay? I did two sets, two crazy fucking sets. I did wide grip curls. I did 10 reps, then I did close grip as you just seen, 10 reps, and then you're going to see me do hammer curls with 20 pound dumbbells, 8 reps, because that's all I can fucking do is 8 reps. My arm is fucking shot, <laughs> shot already. That's how intense this little drop set is, alright? I'm going to do 2 sets of this, that's it, then I go into my uh, back exercises, okay? This is the first set. And I only rest a minute between each set. Very important. Again, I'm trying to burn out my arms, burn them out so I can start my back exercises. Alright, and this is my final set. Different angle for y'all. Nice slow and controlled form. Squeezing them biceps. Again, 10 reps of the wide grip, 10 reps of the close grip. And then I do eight reps of the hammers. And just after two sets, my ass is burnt out. And you go nice slow control four. And that's super slow, kind of quick actually. Cause my arms are about to die on me. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got them damn reps up. So I went a little bit quick, a little bit quicker than I normally go. That's all. And that's 30 pounds if you were curious. It was just 30 pounds. And again, my dumbbell is only 20 pounds. Alright, let me crank on my hammer curls. Again, 8 reps. And again, I only rest in a minute between each of these sets. I threw them bitches because my ass was tired. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's get into my back exercises. You see, I'm going to be pretty intense doing this workout right here. I'm doing reverse grip pull downs. I decided to do some 5x5 five five training to start out my, uh, my back exercises today. Just because since my, my body weight is stagnant in my cutting phase, I thought what the hell, let me push my body and see what I can do. And I did pretty good. I did a pretty decent amount of weight. I got two wheels on there, two 45 pound plates, a 25 and a 5. So I got some pretty decent weight on here. Again, this is 5x5 five five training, so I weight. <coughs> the, the most I weighed was about 3 minutes. But I recommend you wait about 3 to 5 minutes if you're doing heavy weight 5x5 five five training, okay? Alright, I did 5 sets, 5 reps, and I rested 3 minutes between each set. It's my fifth and final set. You see I'm going crazy. <laughs> Unleashing the beast. That's what it's all about. Especially when you're going heavy. Alright, see? Slow control with four. That's what control is going to be because I'm going heavy weight. That's it, y'all. Go from I go from my reverse grip pull downs to what I like to do a lot. It's a wider grip type. I know type of row, okay? That's like a mini straight bar. Alright? I do 10 reps of this. I do three sets, okay? Mama's connection, squeezing of the muscles. This hits mainly the upper back. This is not really a big lower back lats kind of workout. This is mainly your rear delts upper back type workout, okay? Type exercise, I apologize. Type exercise. 
And it's a different angle for y'all, showing y'all the muscle groups that I'm hitting. Showing you those gains I'm getting. Getting lean, getting mean. Again, nice, good control form. I'm not super slow on this. But I have good form. Always have good form. And I only rest a minute between each of these sets. And again, I do three sets, ten reps, okay? I go from knees to my version of the lat pull down. Except this, my version hits mainly the upper back. It does hit the lats. I feel it hit my lats a lot. But this hits mainly the upper part of my back. Now I'll go into a lat isolation exercise right after this. But with this, I do 10 reps, okay? I did four sets of 10 reps and I only rested a minute between each set. All right, y'all. It's my fourth and final set. That bar looks somewhat fucking crooked. I don't know if my camera angle's a little messed up. Or well, my left arm is my right arm. That was my right arm pulling more than my left arm. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> you see nice slow control for him. Squeezing those damn back muscles, y'all. My muscle connection. All right, I go from this to the isolation of my lats, okay? These are straight arm pull downs, all right? Make sure you have good position, all right? And bring the weight back and squeeze them damn laps. Uh, bleh, laps. <laughs> squeeze them lats, okay, y'all? I do three sets of this, 10 to 12 reps, and I only rest a minute between each set. Alright y'all, this is my third and final set. Again, I only rested a minute between each set, 10 to 12 reps. You want to make sure you have a good solid base and bring that weight back, nice slow controlled form, squeezing those lats. And that's it y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to try to work out, try out the workout, go ahead and try it out. If not, that's cool. It is what it is Dear Rock Fitness. Like and subscribe.